You know, as you age, being intellectually and physically stimulated is very important, but even more important is being connected socially. In Philadelphia, Mercy Life, life standing for living independently for elders, has taken those goals for seniors as its mission. Mercy Life is operating innovative programs at three locations, including one in South Philadelphia. And that's where I found some seniors really getting into the swing of things. Almost the goal, almost the goal. Come on, send it this way. Get it, Hosey. Caitlin Gunnells may look like the cheerleading coach for this noisily enthusiastic game of noodle hockey. Bring it down, get it out of the end. You're going that way. There you go. There you go. But in reality, Caitlin is supervising recreational therapy. Get it down, get it down. At the Broad Street Mercy Life Center, this wildly competitive game is therapy. There's so many benefits, whether it's something physical, something cognitive, or just the socialization aspect of it, that they're getting from participating in these programs, but they're having fun and they're doing something that they enjoy. Recreational therapy is just one aspect of the multi-dimensional Mercy Life program for geriatric care. The medical, health, and social services promote independent living at home and in the community. The Life Centers on South Broad Street in South Philadelphia, on North Hancock Street in North Philadelphia, and on Moore Street in Grays Ferry have 477 participants with all services provided by Medicaid or Medicare with no out-of-pocket cost. We've seen a lot of people come into this program. Their spouse passed or they just moved into a new senior housing and they don't have a lot of new friends yet. And they create these relationships and, and establish rapport with a lot of their friends and their peers here at Mercy Life. You look 101, 101. Mm. The rapport can be very playful, and that's especially a saving grace for 80-year-old Nancy Kohler. The social worker where I live told me about it, and she said it was a very nice place. So me and my husband, this was a year ago, oh, he loved it here, but he died eight months ago, so oh, wow. I'm still coming here because I don't have any family. They're all gone. Oh. But when I come here, it's like going home. Oh, and uh, I would never want to be anywhere else. Get it oh. With Mercy Life open five days a week, it creates the social connection that can keep depression and loneliness at bay. The physical activities get a lot out of it because it's, it's not only working on their balance, their motor skills, but their overall mobility, and they're able to do more than they could when they started in this program. On top of the physical programs that we plan, we do a lot of cognitive programs. So whether it's games like we call Word in a Word, or word puzzles, or um, just basic trivia, it maintains them. So, depending on your mood or capability, it could be bingo or noodle hockey. <laughs> Oh, very they nice. had so much They're fun. A it's day. a family. Yeah. They are family. It really they is. It's so beautiful. Okay. Now, most of the participants are in their late 70s. About half live alone. Most are on multiple medications. But Mercy Life provides long-term, comprehensive clinical care and services that gives those participants and their families a sense of security. Now, if you are interested in learning more about the three Mercy Life centers in Philadelphia, you can go to cbsphilly.com and just click on Talk Phil. Kate's forecast when we come back.